Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the J Funkadelic Funkable Operator Podcast, Episode 7. What up, man? Shout out to Mr. C yesterday. Shout out to Howard Hewitt. I went to the club last night. It was a fun club. The music was bumping. Everything was all gravy and gully. You know, I was in the city last night. You know, I was performing, but, I, but you know, I was, it, uh, like, chilling out. Never for a moment to be spiteful. You know how shit could be in life. Never fucking around. Always got to be um, always on point. Always got to get ready to rock steady for yourself, for the wealth and health and self. Trying to be one of a kind. You know, saying never to all that bullshit we all do. Well, quite frankly... You know, yesterday, Howard Hugh was a nice guy. We took a photo. We represented. We did our thing. We showed love and honor for everybody else in this piece. And there's a lot of shit going on in my life. You know, elevators broke down yesterday. I was talking my shit, saying what I had to say and getting things off my chest. And... You know, there was a lot of shit going on. Shout out to Ice T. Happy birthday. Shout out to my, my boy Ice T from the ROM Syndicate. And congratulations to him on his walk of fame. I was watching on YouTube yesterday with Ice T walk of fame. That he that he was in the Hollywood walk of fame. That he, uh, you know, deserved his trophy. He deserved his star to be on Mr. Hollywood when he played in New Jack City. And, and all the movies that he was in, like Trespass, shout out to my boy Ice Cube from the West Coast. Yay, yay, you know. You know what I'm saying? Always got to represent for the only thing in life. Life is what you make it. Don't fake the funk. Keep it real. Represent. What I was about to say... um. There's a hip-hop event coming up in Jersey, February 26th on a Sunday with KRS-One, Kumo D, Nice and Smooth, and many others people. Shout out to my boy Nas Escobar. I will be seeing him in Mass Square Garden, February 24th on a Friday next week. So, I got hip-hop events galore all year round. Shout out to my homegirl Deborah Coco. Just give me the mic. Hip-Hop 50. Shout out to everybody that, that came to the um, Inkwell last night in the city. We had a lot of fun. We had a good time. There was a lot of R&B stars. Shout out to Kid and Play. Shout out to Bowlegged Lou. And we're going to... You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say the curses because I know this is live. And I keep it real and represent for the people since day one. And I was watching House Party movie like... 33 years ago, I, I the first hip hop event I went to was going to the movie to see House Party 1. You know, it was 33 years ago. When I was like 13 years old, I was watching that movie House Party. And, and, and it was a lot of fun, quite frankly. Shout out to DJ Mr. C, putting it on. I'm 90.7 The Block. Shout out to my homegirl, Mrs. Jones. That I told her about, you know, how I represent. I told her I was a rapper and a, D- and a DJ. And she understood me. And, you know, I, I made love for her. Don't you know there's a lot of spiteful people in this world that don't give a fuck about life. And people get really spiteful, the shit you do. And, 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 and they want to, like, feed you criticism for no reason. This happens to me a lot of times in my life and doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. But it's all good, though, because they're not me. I'm not going to want to be like them. They're not trying to be better than me and think they're going to be, you know, sarcastic and psychotic and really, like, out of out of their mind and be out of control. You know what the situation is in life. You can't fuck around with nothing in life. You, you just got you, you just got to, like, be yourself and do what you got to do. You know, I was on a lot of trial and error medications back in the day. And I had a lot of fun with myself, you know. 
not really back in the day, but now up to date. You know, up to date right about now. I've been going to events. I've been getting around. I've been seeing, going sightseeing for people. And I'll be having a lot of fun tonight. Hopefully, I'll see you there at the Polygon way out in Brooklyn. It's going to be a lit night. I hope security don't don't like, like, like get in the way of telling me I can't come to the club. But fuck all that. The last time I was at the Polygon, I behaved. I really represented. I was calm. I was a humble guy. I didn't start trouble. I just, you know, took it to a whole I took my celebrity shit to a whole nother level these days. And I want to take the ball. Actually, shout out to the Super Bowl. Shout out to the Kansas City Chiefs. They won the Super Bowl. They beat the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what I'm saying? It was a tough score from the first, second, and third quarter. Shout out to Mace. I know he didn't want a photo, but that was all right. You know what I'm saying? I just passed on Mace. I didn't really like the way he did. You know, like not, like not taking photos. He went straight to his entourage. And I was asking for a photo with him, but security declined my photo. But that's okay. You know, I've been thinking about a lot of shit in my head. Seeing what celebrity I want to look for in my life. And taking all these pictures and making sure everything is okay in my head. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep it real for my own self and do what I have to do. Not give a fuck about what people be thinking. If they get really crazy and out of control. Even when I'm on the subway, you know, people start fights. I've been watching them on YouTube and, and all this bullshit that they all do. You know, I, I have my own YouTube channel, J Funkadelic Topic. That's J P H U N K E D L I K Topic. I, I, I even got an Apple Music. I'm on all platforms. You can check me out. You can check out my live performances on YouTube. You can check my music on YouTube. You can see anything that you want to see with me on YouTube that I already have. So, it is what it is, you know. I'm trying to handle my business. The way I should in the own hood, you know? Getting it on, word is born, doing my thing. Sometimes I don't have to kick no slang, but I say, what's up, sister? What up, brother? And all that type of shit. Getting it on for the first times and spit these lyrical dope rhymes. Did you know that Ice-T's first album was Ron Pays back in 87? My favorite record from Ice-T was the most requested record. And I heard it when, when they put the intro on the Michael Jackson it was like an imitation when they did it to him. Do you remember that record, most requested record? You know, that was a dope-ass record. That was a funny, that was like a comedy record to me that I heard from Ice-T and the Rom Syndicate. Shout out to my boy Donald D., the one that did the FBI record back in 1989 on the album Notorious. Hip-hop is so fun from back then. Do you remember D. Barnes from Body and Soul? Does anybody remember D. Barnes? Does anybody remember um, Tim Dog, Fuck Compton? Does anybody remember MC Trouble? Does anybody remember any rapper that you saw in your life that you never saw in a long time and it was dead or alive? Recipe shout to my boy Fred the Godson, Goldo Frederico Forever. I got to fight for my right to party to meet people like that. You know what I'm saying? When, when Fred the Godson passed away, I was going through a lot of serious depression because I felt like kind of suicidal. I had suicidal thoughts in my head and I was sent to the hospital and I had to, had to clear my, my own head in the emergency room. So I just had to get myself together and keep it real to my own self and not get upset about, about all this bullshit that was going on in my life. But, you know, there's a lot of things that I think about in my head. That are not true. Sometimes I'll be seeing the demons. I curse out the demons. I tell them to shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Don't do nothing stupid. You know how shit could be. There's a lot of things that are going on in my life. And don't give a fuck about nothing else. You know. Just to take care of yourself. You know. Stay out of trouble. And keep it real. Represent. And don't get benched. For anything that, that happens in life. Just behave yourself. I'm Jay Funkadelic, the fuckable operator. Once again, I will kill it. Peace.